Welcome to Electra Online. Now let's take a look at the auto cycle and the auto cycle is pretty well the theoretical process that we see in a gasoline engine of an automobile. It's not exactly, it's pretty close and so that's why it's a good representation of a gasoline engine. Notice that the that the uh, auto cycle consists of two adiabatic processes and two isovolumetric processes. This here is the hot cycle, so what happens here is that the air gets compressed in the piston. We go from volume 1 to volume 2, so volume 2 of course is a much smaller volume than volume 1. That gives us what we call the compression ratio of the engine, and we call that small r, which is equal to the ratio of the compressed air divided by the initial volume of the piston. Uh, or I should say of the cylinder, not the piston, but the cylinder. And so then uh, the spark ignites the fuel, the temperature goes way up, and then it compresses the air. That's the power cycle in an adiabatic process. And then the valve opens up and the exhaust is let out and then the whole process starts over again. Um, well, actually that's not quite what happens, I think, at that point, uh, we just, the, uh, the engine cools down the gas, it drops in volume, and then there's a, another cycle that's not put on here, where the exhaust is simply pushed out of the cylinder, and then the cylinder pulls in new air, and then the process starts over again. That's essentially what happens. So, the efficiency of an auto cycle is 1 minus r to the 1 minus gamma, so we probably want to Put that in a box. That's the equation for the efficiency of an auto cycle. And of course, we have to remember that gamma is the ratio of C sub P over C sub V, where C sub P is C V plus R, R being the gas constant. And of course, we could also write it like this if we want to. Now, for a diatomic gas, we know that C sub P is 7 over 2 R and C sub V is 5 over 2 R. Of course, air is a diatomic gas, that's why we use. Uh, this for gamma. When we simplify that, we get 1.4. Now, let's say that the compression ratio is 4. What would be the efficiency of an engine like that? Well, let's try it out. Let's plug in some numbers. All we need to do is plug it into the equation. So e is equal to 1 minus r, which is 4, 1 minus 1.4. So we have e is equal to 1 minus 4 to the negative 0 0.4. At this point, we need a calculator. So we have uh, 4 raised to the, uh, let's see here, 0.4 minus equals, and then subtract that from 1. So let me just write the intermediate value down. Okay, so that becomes uh, E is equal to 1 minus 0 0.574. And so minus plus 1. And so end up with E is equal to 0 0.426, which is 42.6%. So that's the theoretical efficiency of an auto engine. That would be for a gasoline engine. That's quite high. Obviously, you don't get that efficiency because there's all kinds of heat loss. Hinge engine gets very hot, so there's a lot of heat loss due to the engines. They need to be cooled down, so you don't get that efficiency from a gasoline engine, but you know, theoretically, it could be as high as 42.6 if you can get it to work perfectly. All right, so now you may wonder, well, where did this equation come from? Well, just like for the Carnot engine, we will show you on the next video.